blade plan enough to scratch around and keep yourself aloft for a while, but not enough to get back up unless it's an unusual day. So, you have downloaded and read the Kenosh Guide. Okay. But I put at the end of this handout some, some tips, some basic things I have coming up. So, the runways there is 2 6 and 8. 20. So, 2 6 20 to the west. At the west end of the property where there's this road, there are power lines. Right there. Right off the end of the road. So, luckily, the wind in the afternoon is usually from the north or northwest. And so, you're almost always landing this way. Up to six. And, you know, it would take a really strong wind out of the east to make it worthwhile to come in over the power lines and then drop down. It's a dirt runway. It's a slight uphill, not nearly as dramatic as Bickle. But you will not roll nearly as far on this runway as you will on your paved runway at home. And therefore, on a typical day, in a typical body, you really should aim to touch down about halfway down this runway. And that's what I've normally been doing, is close to halfway, depending on how strong the wind is. And that gives me enough energy to roll all the way in. If I touch down here, there's no way I'm going to roll again. I'm going to stop somewhere in the middle. <coughs> yeah, sorry, what's the point of rolling to the end? It just you're might, not arrow towing? Is that it just idea? might happen that the day that you had to land at Penoche, somebody else had to land at Penoche. But can't you just push off to the end of the field off the west side? If you really needed to, you could. This is north is over here, and south is over there. That's what I meant, the south side. Well, the north is probably easier. There's a fence along the north. There's a fence along the north side. If you, yes. The fence is really along the west side. That's a factor for a runway operation. On the north side, the fence is like 20 yards away. Yeah. Yeah, right. here's, here's my point, here's my point. Eventually, you're going to either want to box up your glider or tow out of there. So even if there was no other gliders in the entire universe. But if you're going to tow out of there, you're going to want to be on the, 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 the approach in. No, 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 because you don't want to have to tow over power lines. Okay. It's going to be a good <laughs> win. <laughs> yeah, you'll do it when the when the winds are strong. If the winds are strong, it's fine. That's the only departure I've made out of there. Okay. The power <laughs> that's very rare. But if it's blowing 15 knots out of the west, then the advice is land short and get stopped because you're going to push back to here and you're going to tow from this right, end. Right, right. Most of the time, the winds are light enough you're going to tow the other that you're going to tow the other direction. Okay, see that's the part I didn't get from my experience there. So most of the time, you're going to want to land and roll, so that you can roll all the way to the end here, push your glider off onto one of these spaces so you're out of the way. If you don't have the momentum to roll all the way, you roll it here, and you get out of your glider. Start pushing. And if you're not willing to start pushing this way, push it off the side and clear the middle. If you're undecided as to what to do, the first thing to do is find out whether there's somebody landing behind you. Look around and look on the radio. Because if there's somebody landing behind you, you need to push that glider off the road. And you need to, and the worst possible thing, and the thing that may get you banned from this event, is if you leave your glider in the middle here and you walk off trying to find somebody. Or you walk. Yeah. <laughs> how, how, rough is, how rough is it? I mean, is it? does it make sense to roll it off the runway? Can to you use your that? momentum to yeah, walk away? Yeah, no. Okay, no. No. Okay. no. Because there are literally foxholes dug by genuine protective pit boxes okay. off the sides of the runway. Okay. I found them that were like three feet around. More likely they're just cocoa holes. But, but no. you still don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. But I think there are also some burns from your game. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there's no way no way you can yeah. push it. Yeah. 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 If, if, if you do have to push off to the south and you get out and you're able to push it or pull it or get it off, you're going to have to go up over that burn. And, and more than likely, your main tire is going to get into a small hole. You're not going to be able to even get the thing out of the hole. Yeah. Um, very difficult. What I've noticed is that those burns are actually because of the fact that the, the, the runway is covered with gravel and it and it's it's used and it's you know mowed and everything that the, the rodents and the critters have actually moved out to the side they've been pushed out to the side over the years and those berms are just 
real with gopher wings. Yeah. yeah, they're just made by the rodents and stuff, and they're a, a good. Made by the gopher. They're, they're good gopher 18 inches high. They're, they're soft. soft. You've got to push push up over that, and more likely you're going to go down in at some point and get stuck. So, and then, so uh, another reason to, you know, land so you can end up at one end of the other end of the world. Yeah. Yeah. Then, when it's time to get that arrow to launch out of here, typically you're, you're launching from this end, you push your glider pretty close to the end there, the tow plane hooks up. Close all vents. Yeah. Before you start to take off the road. road. You're going to be in a dust storm. Um, depending. Oh, yeah. 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 You, the the <laughs> tow plane will disappear, and there will just be a big cloud of dust with a tow rope coming out of it. And that tow rope is where you should be going. You may be tempted to pull up and get above the cloud of dust. Don't do that, because then you kill the tow pilot. Um, or run it into the fence at the end of the runway. So those are some key points. Uh, Harry, quick, quick uh, point out. Um, it, it may not look exactly like that now if you go down there because of the fact that uh, they have graded another uh, section towards the uh, south side of that property that kind of looks like a second runway. <laughs> well, because they, they, yeah, they, I think they, they dissed around the edge for fire protection or something like that the last time I flew over it a month ago. Yeah. It didn't look so much graded to me as just sort of, you know, mm -hmm. lower the disc. So um, yeah, you got, if, if, if you're going there for the first time, you might see two two distinct things that both look like runways so and don't want to have so, yeah. so that, 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 that edge there, that uh, so, the southern tan edge there, yeah. that's like the property line. That's it's probably, only a 30 acre the property. There. The there. Yeah, so yeah. somebody else's property next to that, they'd be doing something else. I see else. a faint track to the it is road. visible when you're down there, yeah. and it's important not to get the two confused. You should be able to tell which is the, the well, I was, real strip. I was more thinking if someone was skirting around in the middle of the runway. Well, people have landed in some of these pastures, but they're likely to be rocks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like it grew rocks, right? Boulders all over the place. No, I don't think that was an old runway. Yeah, maybe it's clear. I don't think it's a runway. No, it's a road or something. Yeah, cow tracks. To make sure you're recognizing the runway, there's a cluster of buildings here with an enormous cluster of derelict vehicles. It's an auto junkyard. And there's a windsock here, and a windsock down here. If you land there and you cannot raise anybody on the radio, you can walk over here to the bar at the Village Inn, and they have the phone number for Hollister. In fact, they have a radio there. Yeah, they, 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 